Hi there, I'm Nora Dunn, otherwise known as the Professional Hobo. And today I would like to talk to you about reducing our environmental impact as travelers, specifically through a zero waste kit. I have a zero waste kit that allows me to, every time I leave the country or even the house for that matter, I'm able to not generate any single use waste, paper, plastic, or otherwise. And it all fits into this purse, along with a whole bunch of other stuff that you, it's completely unrelated. Anyway, let's talk about zero waste. So first, let's talk about water. Water bottles, plastic reusable, single-use water bottles are one of the most egregious environmental offenders. Even in countries where I can't drink the water, I'm able to treat it uh, with things like uh, the SteriPen and water filters. I'll leave a link uh, to my various water treatment systems uh, in, the, in the comments below here. Once you treat the water, what you need is a water bottle. And a lot of the reusable water bottles are kind of large and unwieldy. Not for me. I use a collapsible water bottle. This one is made by Platypus, and when it's empty, it literally rolls up into nothing, weighs nothing, and takes up no space. Now this one is one liter. This does not fit into my purse, but it does fit into my day pack. So when I'm traveling around, uh, I stick this into the side pocket of my day pack. In my purse, I have a much smaller one. It's just a 500 ml water bottle. Platypus makes 500 ml and one liter and also one and a half liter water bottles. It's great because it fits in the side pocket of my purse and ensures that I always have a little bit of water when I'm thirsty. Next up, coffee. Now a lot of coffee shops serve their hot drinks in paper cups and while you might assume that those would be recyclable or compostable, in many cases they're not because in order to keep the liquid from seeping through, it's lined with wax or plastic. This makes the cup a mixed material, which makes it garbage. So in order to avoid generating any garbage, uh, I have reusable coffee cups. You've got the, the standard Contigo option, which is a great uh, thermal device, keeps thing, hot things hot and cold things cold, uh, but it's not very portable. Quite frankly, I don't have this in my purse most of the time when I just spontaneously end up in the coffee shop. And uh, before I got this next little tool I'll show you, I had to make some tough decisions. If I made that commitment to not generate any single-use waste, it meant that I couldn't have the coffee unless they could serve it in a mug. And you'd be surprised the number of coffee shops that will not actually serve drinks in mugs anymore. Well, here's my solution. And uh, this is so cool. I love this. This is a collapsible coffee cup. It is, uh, this one is made by Daranaxi. I will put links to all of the, my zero waste kit contents uh, in the, below this video. So you can have a look at it while you're busy liking the video. And ta-da, it is technically spill proof uh, in that it's got a little rubber thing that sits over the opening. Personally, I wouldn't throw this full of liquid into a bag where it's gonna be tipped all over the place. Uh, but having said that, I've never had any leaks or spill problems. One warning is uh, that uh, hot drinks will make the silicone here very hot. So just make sure you hang on to it by here. It also comes with a little carabiner. So when it's collapsed, you can just attach it to your bag and you're good to go. So this is in my zero waste kit. Now, as a side note, because we're talking about drinks, I happen to be a really big bubble tea fan. And when I committed to uh, not generate any single use waste, I had to really come to terms with the idea that I might never have bubble tea again, because of course bubble tea comes in those plastic uh, single use cups with the little plastic top on it. But, uh, and this is for home use more than travel use, I went to my local bubble tea shop and I actually bought a reusable bubble tea uh, mug. This is great because every time uh, I, I go for my bubble tea, I can give them this and they give me a discount. The same applies for most coffee shops, by the way. If you bring in your own reusable uh, cup or mug, you will get uh, a discount. It's a small discount, but you know what? It's a discount. All right, next up in our uh, zero waste adventures. This is something that I have had with me 
Uh, since before I started traveling full time, this is the second generation. The first one uh, fell apart after about eight years of almost daily use. Uh, and this is a reusable bag. The company that makes this is called Bagu. This bag holds 50 pounds worth of stuff. It's cute design, by the way. Uh, it's quite large, as you can see here. Uh, and I have it in my purse all the time. And I have been amazed by the uses that I've been able to have for it. Obviously, whenever I go to a store, whether it's a planned excursion or not, I put all of my groceries into here. No plastic bags, no paper bags required. Uh, and it fits so many groceries that usually I'm able to fit like a week's worth of stuff uh, for one person anyway, into this bag. I also find that when I'm on the road traveling, sometimes I have a few extra things if I'm going from one destination to another, or I need to transport something somewhere, uh, and I just don't have any space for it in the bags that I have, boom, bagu to the rescue. I consider this to be actually one of my most essential pieces of travel gear, like period. All right, next up in my zero waste kit. Oh, this is collapsible Tupperware. So, and inside my Tupperware, I happen to have a, a spork. This is actually a full size stainless steel spork. I did a lot of research uh, about various types of cutlery. It's very popular for a lot of travelers these days who are concerned about zero waste, who have these little bamboo cutlery sets and it's got you know forks and spoons and knives and chopsticks and a lovely little cloth keeper thing and they roll it up. But for me, it was too big. It's too big and I won't take it with me. I won't have it with me all the time. Whereas this, because it fits inside of my collapsible Tupperware, I will always have it with me. The other thing too about sporks that I found was uh, I don't like the ones that have the serrated edges uh, along the side of the fork. Uh, although it's intended to make it extra multifunctional because you can use it as a knife, I found in general when I put it into my mouth to eat with it, as you do, uh, I, would, I would sometimes cut or, or it would be abrasive to the side of my mouth. Not good if you're looking to, if you have to cut up uh, whatever it is that you're eating on the go, but as long as you can tear at it with a fork or a spoon, uh, this works wonders. On to the Tupperware. So, check this out. Oh. Uh, this particular collapsible Tupperware is made by Kuk, K-U-U-K. A couple of things about it. First of all, it's ultra light, it's silicone, it's fairly easy to keep clean. I will say I do have a bit of a complaint and it's that the lids don't always go on so easily. Uh, I sometimes find that I, I can't get a proper seal on the lid and then it, it doesn't snap properly. So if I've got liquids or whatnot in it, it could uh, it could leak. So let's walk through a possible day on the town. Now, first things first, I'll make sure that I have my water bottle totally filled up with clean water uh, in the side of my purse. So then as I'm uh, walking along, I can stay hydrated, which is especially important in warm climates. But let's say somewhere along the line, I want to stop for a coffee, have a rest. Maybe I'm meeting someone while I'm out and about. Well, great. I've got my collapsible coffee cup ready in my purse. Street food is perfect for your collapsible Tupperware. I pull it out, I get them to serve it in here, I eat, I'm happy and no waste. Let's say I'm out a little bit later in the day and I go to a restaurant. Uh, can't finish all my food, wanna take some home. Boom, collapsible Tupperware, out it comes. And then I whip out my reusable bag and I can put the Tupperware in my bag. Also too, let's say I'm out, I get some souvenirs, uh, or I get some grocery items, or I buy anything that can't fit automatically into my purse or day pack, my reusable bag comes handy. This is a fairly simple zero waste kit, but it actually ensures that I don't generate any single use waste every single time I leave the house or the city or the country. Now, it does take some commitment. Uh, first of all, uh, 
I always have to have my purse with me. Also too, it requires discipline to make sure that uh, everything goes back into my purse after I've used it. Uh, most specifically, the, the reusable bag. Every time I finish using it, I fold it up and put it directly back into my bag. And also, sometimes I just have to make some tough decisions. I've spontaneously ended up at a coffee shop with some friends of mine and I don't get a coffee because I don't have my reusable coffee cup with me. For me, my mission to not generate any single-use waste uh, it, when I leave the house is, um, is equal parts fun challenge as it is a commitment to the environment. Uh, and to living in a more sustainable way. I actually enjoy the challenge of not generating any single-use waste. And I also enjoy the ripple effect of whipping out my various zero-waste accoutrements and having people ask questions about it. So in turn, I hope that I've inspired you to level up and get your own zero waste kit going. If you've enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate if you clicked on the link button and also subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new content coming out. Thanks for watching. Nora Dunn, AKA the professional hobo. <laughs> mm. Into nothing. Uh... <laughs> you may think that those are compost Blah. Now, a lot of coffee shops serve their... <laughs>